Hey, it's Pete Checkley for Sampli Review, and today I'm checking out Angry Woodwinds Pro by Performance Samples. Continuing their Angry series, Performance Samples have expanded the range from brass to woodwinds. With five solo woodwind instruments, flute, clarinet, oboe, piccolo and bassoon, woodwinds have never sounded so angrier. The dynamics range from double forte to triple forte, yet also they have a surprising softer side. If you want to push your woodwinds to a place where they have never gone before, Angry Woodwinds Pro is certainly the library for you. Angry Woodwinds Pro downloads at 703 megabytes and features up to five round robins on the attacks and releases with performances derived from phrases. There are two speeds of release samples and it's recorded in a hall with close and decker mic positions. It's recorded in 48,000 hertz and 24 bit sampling. It's built for Contact 5.8.1 and above and requires the full retail version of Contact. Normally it sells for $139, yet is on intro offer at $99 and has various loyalty prices as low as $69. So jumping straight in, you can see on the left there are five NKI files. You have the solo bassoon, the solo clarinet, the flute, the oboe and the piccolo. And this is exactly the same as the Angry Brass Pro soloists. Now you can see you have the mic mixers on the left, so you have your close and decker, and the close mic is a lot lower than the decker mic. And we have all the same controls, we can pan the mics left and right, and you can assign a dynamic CC if you wish to, and you click on the other page, you will have the uh, compression, which you can add to the high and low register or the dynamic range, and you can also change the makeup, which will change the overall output. I did find when I load, uh, loaded these instruments up, they just loaded at a perfect volume and just sat in the mix really, really well. So just going back to the first page and everything I'm going to play is straight out the box. So I've loaded up the solo flute and you can hear the room sound uh, is it's exactly the same as the other performance samples libraries. So everything's recorded in the same room and this is all new content. So here's the flute. And these are polyphonic as well. So what I would do is uh, just for the purpose of review, I'm gonna bring up the, the makeup. So we have a louder flute. lovely and just go back now these are polyphonic performance instruments so you can do your shorts okay so you can really hear the sort of breathiness of the player And those round robins, as they're derived from performance phrases, just makes it sound all the more human. Now, I love the fact there isn't an exaggerated vibrato on the instrument. And then you have these brilliant dynamic, um, sort of dynamic variation. So if we go really, really low, can bring that up so these instruments really really cut through the mix they sit with the orchestra and yeah they are really really powerful so obviously if you can't hear it in context um you know you might think well it sounds like a flute it sounds like a very nice flute the timbre is absolutely lovely um, so I really urge you to go over to the performance samples website and check out the demos that are on there and you can hear it in the mix. They really, really are powerful. They make bold statements and they are incredibly easy to play, but I'll talk more about that a little bit later. To get a feel for the instruments, what I'm going to do is turn off the mic and start off with the solo bassoon and work through all the instruments so you can hear what they sound like. And it's really important to hear the lower range, the higher range, um, the shorts, the longs, and just sort of get a really good feel for, uh, for the instrument. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the mic off and off we go.
So the first thing about the demos is that the timbre of these instruments is absolutely brilliant. So I'm on the piccolo and I love just the room sound. And that ambience is, it's just absolutely stunning. There's no external processing, no extra reverb, it's all room. Now, if I just turn the decker off, So obviously it's a lot quieter as the volume is down for the close mic, but you still have that really, really great room sound. And when they're blended together, it just, yeah, it sounds superb. And I do love that the vibrato is not over exaggerated. It's very, very subtle and everything is just so easy to play. Going from a long note to a short note just by performing is, you know, great no hassle with key switches doing trills not bad i'm trying to, not to make too much noise on my controller uh yeah but it's so responsive and the, the performances, you, you just feel like the, you know, the flute's there in front of you or whichever instrument you're on, the piccolo at the moment. Um, the range of instruments is, you know, it's vast and the playable range of each instrument is, is really big as well. So on the piccolo, you have that low D going up to this really, really aggressive C sharp. And it's almost like it's been overblown. So I just love the dynamic range of these instruments. The clarinet, if I just quickly move over to that, is one of the standouts for me. I just love the, the timbre of it. It's incredibly warm. Um, just, you know, it, it's, it will cut through the mix. That's what's so great about these instruments. So um, depending on, you know, sort of how, how you seat them in the orchestra, uh, they're, they're going to just sort of blow everything else out of the water. So the sounds are great. The fact they cut through the mix is brilliant. They're so easy to play. You can mess around the mics. You can pan them left and right if you want to. So I'll move the close over there. I'm going to bring the close up a little bit just underneath the decker. And with some external reverb, that's gonna sound absolutely awesome. Now, the biggest selling point of this library for me is just the playability. So it's going from longs to shorts and playing through all the different velocity layers and using the mod wheel to create these different dynamics. Yes, it is geared towards angry, aggressive playing. And a lot of the timbres really do push those boundaries of woodwinds. But surprisingly, you can use them in lower dynamic settings as well. So that's the bassoon. The clarinet That's a sort of more of like a, a sort of chordal instrument. Oops, just sort of fell off the controller there. So as an ensemble, it, it does sound, you know, just sort of together and linear and clear. And that's exactly what you're looking for. Um, the piccolo sound, just, just the room sound. Now I would, Bring this up. Uh, that's really easy done, just in the makeup. I'm going up to a 10 there. It's going to be quite piercing. Might bring it down a little bit. Uh, where are we? And just how easy it is to do quick runs, chain those together, and then go to some longs. Really, really works. So, yep, incredibly playable. Sounds great. And it is really pushing where woodwinds have been before. No matter if you're a hobbyist or you're a professional composer, you will definitely find 
the Angry Woodlands Pro to be a valuable part of your toolkit. And the reason being, they do exactly what they say. They really push the boundaries of aggressive woodwind playing. But surprisingly, you can use these in a more of a softer setting. Now, you're not going to get stacks of different articulations and millions of samples because that's not what the library is. The library is a set or a collection of straightforward woodwind instruments that can go from, in my opinion, a quieter dynamic, but they really are at home in that double F to triple F arena. So, yep, they push the boundaries. They do something a bit different and they are, for me, they're going to make their way into my workflow and be in my template and within the mixes, they're going to sound awesome. Thank you so much for checking out this first look at the Angry Woodwinds Pro by Performance Samples. Now, to really get a feel for them, I really, really do recommend you pop over to the Performance Samples website and check out these woodwinds within an orchestral demo context. If you like what you heard, feel free to leave us a comment. How would you use this instrument? What do you like about it? Feel free to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and check out everything that is latest and greatest in the world of virtual instruments. Take care and have a fabulous day.